Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back into some more NO1800. This is a very special episode as this is the last episode we are having before tourist season officially launches on the May on the May the 25th. Wow, talking is such sweet sorrow for me today. Oh god. Anyways, yeah, this is the last episode before we officially get into tourist season and we will be adding all of the actual hotels and bars and cafes and restaurants into Crown Falls. Now, if you have been watching me over on Twitch during early access, we of course have been doing that to this city already. But I decided, you know what, for YouTube, we'll go about it and do it again just for the fun of it because I actually enjoy doing it quite a bit. So, based on my uh, first-hand knowledge of what is happening with the DLC, I know that we have quite a bit more work to do here. We initially laid out spaces for four hotels. I know now that we need ten. Oh, excuse me while I, like, just faint inside a little bit over the thought of that. Yeah, we need ten hotels. So, I've got four. What I'm going to do is put a little cut in the video right now and uh, find a place for six more hotels in this city and uh, try to keep them relatively in this general vicinity. Um, yeah, just kind of in this general area. I know that we're going to need one that's going to face our uh, Iron Tower where I want to put it right here. So I know that I'm going to need a hotel down here somewhere. So I need to fit that in. So I, gotta, I need to fit in six more hotels in this city. So I am going to cut, make a cut in the video and we're going to come back and see where I have been able to squeeze in some hotels to make this work. Okay, so I've made room for at least nine. I, I, I'm struggling to figure out where to put the last one. What I want to do is wait until the uh, the rest of well, until the DLC is out. We're actually building everything, so I can see where everything else is going to go. Because I don't want them all clumped up. So what I've done is um, I've added one here, and then I've made space for like a cafe or a bar or something right there. Uh, we've got a hotel down here, kind of right next to the mooring. I expanded this area right here out. I took out, there was a little market right here. I took it out and I put two right here. I found they look kind of cool if you face them to each other and then put a neat little plaza in the middle. So I wanted to do that somewhere. So that one's there. So I've got one there. Uh, we had that one there already. Uh, I put one over here near this botanical garden and kind of filled in. And I've got one right here now. So... That gets us up to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, the tenth one will go you know, somewhere around in here, possibly in this general vicinity, I think. Um, yeah, we're just going to kind of have to see where it goes. Um, so the question some of you might be having is why ten? Well, so this is the way it kind of works out. Hotels have basic needs just like a residence does and their final basic need is the iron tower for the iron tower to be fulfilled you need to unlock four that you need to have four thousand residents i'm still having some major issues sorry i'm i'm getting really mad about the train issue um you need four thousand tourists okay you can't get 4,000 tourists until you have at least 10 hotels. Uh, hold on a second. I've got the I've got the numbers written down right here. So with nine hotels, you can only get up to 3,780 tourists uh, because the Iron Tower is still locked. So you cannot get up to 4,000. That's if everything is fulfilled with all of the basic needs and you don't have any negatives, like any of the... Um, low low attractiveness penalties or anything. You you need at least ten hotels fully supplied to unlock the need for the Iron Tower. That will get you up to forty two hundred. Uh, ten hotels will get you to forty two hundred, unlocking that need. And then once you unlock the need for the Iron Tower, you'll get up to five thousand tourists. So that's why I recommend building ten ten of the hotels. 
you see and they're just sitting there sleeping I, i'm i've re i've destroyed and rebuilt this thing several times people keep saying oh just destroy and rebuild the oil harbor and it's not working so i'm gonna try something different because i'm getting really annoyed at the uh, oil harbor um because i'm making enough oil it's okay. just uh and it's not like a train track issue as y'all saw all of my trains the ai basically keeps sending all of the trains up here to this and then they sit there and then they all come back and then they don't do anything it's it's getting super super annoying so i don't know what's going on with it i've got to work on the situation um still over here farming up this i'm still trying to get that anno 2070 music sheet well, there's the 2205 actually no is that the one i needed <gasps> Yes, I think that's the one I needed. Not 2070. I need a 2205. Oh, Jesus God, did I finally get the one I wanted. I think I did. Take a forest. Uh, polar circle. Arctic tundra. That is the one that's here. Take a forest. Polar circle. Arctic tundra. Yes, it is. Thank you, God. Uh, I am working on the snowflakes set as well. I'm going to expand this as well and put the snowflakes in this one. This is going to be a big old zoo. But it's going to be a very attractive zoo. So that's okay too. Sweet. We got the Anno 2205 music. That makes me very happy that I finally got that. Uh, I think the only one I'm missing now is... How thrilling. A renowned was a, a mocha. Um, sheet music. I am only missing... I'm missing 1701 and 2070. Okay. Missing those two right there. That's that's not bad. I've got three Anno 1800s. This is the only one of these I'll need. Probably use the Anno 1800s somewhere. The 1404... Don't know if I'm going to use... Actually, um, I'm using that one at the moment. This is something else we got to do. is we got to work in these um, botanical gardens and museums. I'm going to work those in somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm going to work them in just, just yet. Part of it might have to do with wherever I decide to put the rest of the hotels and set all that stuff up. So I don't know just yet. We'll have, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, for now, they'll stay up there and I can move them into the city as necessary. So, okay. So I think that's kind of where I want to leave this right here off with setting things up. We've got nine hotels set up. I can set up the 10th one later. We've got plenty of spots for like restaurants, bars, and cafes. Um, again, if you have not been keeping up over on the uh, Twitch uh, early access streams, I've been kind of digging through those. And I have kind of, my opinion on these is that the restaurants are really good for like farmers through artisans. Uh, maybe also in a little bit on the engineers, but farmers through artisans is really where it shines. Uh, bars seem to be bars and cafes are kind of like engineer and investor heavy. Um, and also depends on like what DLCs you have and stuff. So I'm not going to, I'm going to have like one or two restaurants over in the, in this area, just for the sake of my hotels, but I'm probably going to have most of my restaurants over like a couple, maybe two or three over in this area to help reduce consumption on things. Um, as far as the cafe goes, the cafe has a banana surprise, which is like pure investor stuff. It reduces the need for chocolate, champagne, and coffee. So Finally, we have possession of that curiosity. Thank you. So it's definitely going to be one that I'm I'm gonna have at least a cafe here and a cafe up here. Um, and then the Iron Tower has multiple recipes on the restaurant. So there's going to be a lot of consumption reduction. It's really, really cool. All right. So what are we going to fill out the rest of this episode with? Well, we're going to fill it out with something. Uh, another little something I discovered would be super helpful. And that is having a chemical factory island. Um, along with the 10 hotels that you're roughly going to need, you're also going to need about 10 chemical factories. You'll need two shampoo chemical factories, three lemonade factories and five souvenir factories okay so we're going to load up some goods i forget how much i need so i'm just going to grab a whole bunch of stuff just 
just grab me some things. I'm going to come over here to Egg and Ham. Egg and Ham is going to be our um, chemical factory island. That is the plan. So we're going to get this place kind of uh, set up and ready to rock and roll. Oh, let me turn that blueprint mode off. There we go. Bring those ships down here. Start unloading some goods. Um, I'm also going to want power on this island. And for power, I think I'm just going to get the power. Let's see. where. where what's the deal with all the oil? I also think I had a... Didn't I? Yeah. This right here needs to go under AI Trader Group. This is all fine. Okay, cool. Matt's Routes. Yeah, let's put this under the mats. Anything else that's just materials? No. Okay. That's a little of everything right there. All right, oil routes. What we've got going here? Uh, what's your problem? The cherry atop our beautiful. Why so mean? Oh, what did I set you up for? Oh God, I don't even know. Oh, it was set to Crown Falls. Actually, I don't need you to go to Crown Falls. You're on that island? Let's, yeah, let's go check that out real quick. You've got a reasonable amount of goods on you. Let's come down here and pick up some more materials. Let's actually set him. We're going to use him for... Because Crown Falls is kind of... Uh, it's energy independent, basically. So... It's, Instead, I would like to have you come over here with all of this. All right, let's get some artisans going. Uh, artisans. Electricity going. Yeah. Get oil harbor right there. Hold on one second, guys. All right, anyways, um, where is, oh, there it is. I was like, where's all of that stuff at? All right, and we'll get a couple of, we'll get a small oil store. We'll get one here and I'll get one over here. Why not? All right, and some more storage. Lovely. I want, I want it to look like that. Alright, let's drop everything off now. Cool. Alright, we'll bring you back home. Even though I, I know it doesn't need a road connection. Just, just humor me, okay? Just humor me. Okay, so that's going to take care of that. Now, those things are 8 by 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, I want to move that in by one tile. So it's perfect in between there. Lovely. move you up one because I'm actually going to drag this right over here in this general direction Done. that would be the sound of our second world's fair getting uh, phase being done so one two three four five six seven eight okay Going to put. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do it like that. There we go. Okay, cool. All 
All right, so there's just a little uh, starting area right there for all of that. Gets us some power, gets us some room, because we are going to have to have quite a few of those. Uh, we're going to have to have eight of them, so it's going to take up a little bit of room. Let me try to make our coastline look, you know, reasonably interesting, I guess. Instead of hot, hot garbage like it currently does. There we go. Cool. I'll fix this up a little bit. I don't know. Sure. Whatever. Okay. Now, for routes, we're going to add a route to Cape Trelawney. Come up here to Eggenham. Unload those goods. And now he is working. Eggenham isn't full. What? That was weird. It's saying that the that it was full, but it's definitely not. That was uh that's a little odd and somewhat concerning. We'll have to see what happens, I guess, when it gets up there. Uh, I want to switch to that one. And I also want to make uh, some oil stores on this island right here. Just so I am bringing in plenty. The more the merrier. There's more oil up here if I need it as well, and that might not be a bad idea. Go ahead and grab some oil from over here. New orders. So let's come down here and grab some building materials. Uh, what do I need for that? But for one thing, I don't have enough abreros. Probably need to work on a... Uh, a settlement on this island because I don't have enough abreros for all of this. So that's something else I'm going to have to do. Are we picking that up from anywhere else? Or is it just that? It's just that. Yeah. This is actually okay. Because we have five wells here. So I don't technically need that at the moment. Uh, maybe later I will. But right now we're okay without it. You however need to upgrade a little bit don't you? I guess I'll give you another one just for the safety's sake. Cool. All right, so that's going to be some oil coming over there. That's going to help out a lot. That gets our power plant. And this gives me a uh, chemical factory island right here. Oh, what else do we have here? We also have a coal deposit and an iron ore deposit and two zinc deposits that I don't really need. There's zinc. There's coal. There's the iron. Go ahead and connect all that stuff up just so I have it already connected up and prepared. This is also a saltpeter island with niter. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh, I don't, I don't want that like that. Go away. Uh, we'll get some warehouses placed around here. Also going to get a, go ahead and get a warehouse placed right there. We're going to need all of this stuff later. So we might as well make that happen. Uh, let's go ahead and just check everything in Crown Falls real quick here. How are we doing? The presence of a virtuoso. Another Lady Banes. Just about anyone. Um, a pickup quest for him? I'll do a pickup quest for you. Why not? It's been a little while since I've helped you out. Go pick up some castaways up there. Okay, just don't let me forget. Okay, so that's going to kind of take care of that little problem. So that gives us a space for our chemical plants that we're going to need. Little chemical plant. Egg and ham is going to be a chemical plant island. We'll probably make this like a dirty worker town too. You know, dirty, dirty, dirty workers or something. Just for the fun of it. Uh, why are scholars having a bad time? Scholars, what's your problem? Don't know what your problem is. 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It's kind of weird. My cupboards are quite replete. Very odd. Now, here we go. Uh, oh, it's our investor population. Is it this investor population? This is half decent. No. Is it these? No. I'm so confused. What's the... Uh... Oh, no, it is these guys. But, like... You shouldn't be running out of cigars or champagne. I have, that was really weird. I don't know why it was running out of cigars and champagne because I'm using an item for those two things. Unless it was on fire. It might have been on fire. That might have been what happened. That was still kind of weird. Whatever. All right. Anyways, random, random weird things happening in my cities all the time, all the time. All right, so we have that taken care of. We have an island kind of set up and ready. I'll, I'll need to bring some goods down to it, like some building materials. Um, we can go ahead and bring some more of that down. Like I said, I don't remember exactly what it all it takes. But we'll get some down here to start. Probably need... What's the deal with... Um, I just have like a single, I just have a single one producing. I just crank you up to max. Make a little bit more. Where was I getting all my steel from? Wasn't it down here? Oh God, everything is, everything's been destroyed again. Of course it has. Perfectly legal. I really need to fix that. When the ice breaks, I want you there with me. Are you kind or blind? Okay. So, oh my God! All of this down here too, huh? What has happened? Okay, so this up here needs to be fixed. Uh, what does it need? It just needs some bricks. That's an easy fix with the brick. Bring some of this right here up. Uh, he should be here with those. These guys. And that's delivered over here. Okay. I haven't even looked at this in so long. I mean, she's a little ticked off, but here, have some money. Do you like to be flattered? I don't remember. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Let's maybe not flatter her. Okay. Yeah, I need to go and rebuild that uh, That's the going price for refinery right there. New prestige level, huh? Uh, probably because of a, yeah, arts festival. That usually is what causes that. That's fine. All right. Show me what you have. That's turned in and done. Lovely. It's got a midshipman that I really don't need, but sure, whatever. So, this is up and running. Let's drop this stuff off. And then we'll do work on the very last thing that I know that we're going to need to prepare for. And that is going to be in the New World. And that's going to be... Are you ready for it? We need space for about 24 orchards. Okay? 24 stinking orchards in the New World. Alright? How fun is that going to be? I've got to find an island that has the space for it. Or islands, basically. And I need 840 workforce. Yeah. Um, and I really would like to have it on an island that is close by, but this is not going to be it. Um, oh, man. I'm probably not going to lay it out just yet, uh, but I am going to start looking. The first thing I know we're going to have to have is champagne. Um, for the champagne, we'll need uh, champagne, shampoo. For the shampoo, we'll need two chemical factories for the 10 that we're going to have. Those 
two chemical factories. They're kind of the, the most, a little bit more annoying ones because it takes um, coconut oil and cinnamon to make shampoo. And you need two of each. So you need eight total orchards for all of that right there. Now, the good thing is, is that orchards are roughly the same size. Well, not even roughly. They're the exact same size as a lumberjack's hut. So you can plan these out. Now, another thing is they do take a lot of workforce. They take 35 Ornoleros, okay? 35 Ornoleros per uh, orchard. And before anybody asks in the comments, no, chemical plants and orchards are not affected by items or specialists in the game. Uh, there is one item that affects cherry orchards in the old world. However, it actually reduces production by 10% because it adds a bunch of attractiveness. So I don't know the point of that, but um, so your Ursula Greens, your Sugadors, your Druid Sickles, uh, your Ferris Al Ceramis, your Meg Ivers, none of that works. The same goes for palace policies, trade union, like the trade union bonus from the... Uh, Department of Labor, the 10% or 12% or however much percent you have, none of that works on any of the production from tourist season. So you do have to build it all. The only exception is working conditions do work. So you can increase working conditions by 50% if you so choose. Okay, so I'm going to put my finger on the screen. Let's go right there. I'm pretty sure I can overlap these. Uh, that is... Definitely not lined up. Yeah, it's so hard for me to line these up. Okay, that is lined up good. I'm literally using my finger on the screen, by the way, if you're wondering how I'm lining these up. I, I have my finger pointed at the screen, and I'm trying to line it up that way. Um, probably not going to make these, like, super pretty or anything. I just want to get them in there. Just need to get them in there and get them functional. Um, you're going to have to go somewhere else, buddy, because I am gonna I, I am gonna have to build another village over here too. So that's uh, something to think about. So I'm gonna have to build something else. Okay, how about you go there? You go there. What's your problem? Like the one place that I could do that and you're like not wanting to. Like seriously, it won't go over that. <laughs> How annoying. Fine. Be that way. I'll just do that. I might have to shift these around slightly once I kind of actually get them in into the built. But for right now, I mean, I guess I could build the Lumberjacks and see if it's going to work, so. It should be okay. That should be fine. So that's six of them. Oh, he's having difficulties. Okay, fine. To take oh god, that's why that was right there. <laughs> Whoopsies. There. Now you're fixed. Okay, now I don't need you. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so I do need two more of each. Um, we can squeeze one in here. And I can squeeze one in. Oh, you know what? Let's squeeze one in right there. Okay. He should have the same range. So there's the eight for the lemonade to get us started. The only other thing now is I will need um, more people, basically. I just, I'm going to have to have a bunch more people 
to make this all work. So um, let's come up right over here and build a little settlement here. So we have 130 extra workforce available. I have eight of those times 35 population is 208. I guess it wouldn't be a recording if I didn't randomly hit pause at some point. So I guess I'll have to figure out where I hit pause at, but you know, and I'll make a little fade over. How thrilling. A renowned person <laughs> but anyways, I built a little village right here. If um, I don't even know, how, how did I even hit that key? Whatever. I built a little village. That's what I just did. Um, you didn't miss it. If, if I did completely cut it out, hey, you didn't really miss anything. I cut out. I, uh, I built a little village right there real quick. So there you go. That's what I was doing. Oh, me and these. Me and these keys, I swear. I'm always I'm always hitting random keys on my keyboard. Um, let's just add in a couple of little decorations. Something right there. Just needs something. Uh, what we got? Yeah, that's not that's not doing it for me. These are all too nice. Like I just I want I want dirty, filthy, nasty decorations. Why can't I have that? Here, just give me a sand pile. I don't care. A sand pile next to the clothesline. Sure, I mean, it is whatever, I guess. Here, just have that. I don't even I don't even know anymore. Just just take it. Just take it. Um Yeah, I think that should be good right there. Gets us everything we need. Gets us plenty of workforce on the island. Um Oh, we do need bricks. Uh, those things do take bricks, so that's uh, one thing to make note of. Is they do require bricks. So... Oh, speaking of bricks. Aha! Let's get you rebuilt. Uh, that's actually enough bricks, but I'll bring some more up just in case, you know, that thing blows up again, so... Okay, so that right there is enough to get us started for the first couple of episodes for tourist season. We have our chemical plants island laid out and ready for chemical plants. We have uh, shampoo stuff ready for cinnamon and uh, coconut oil on this island right here at Kakamira. We have a place for nine hotels, plenty of restaurants, cafes, and bars. We will put in bus depots as needed and make all that work. And I think we are prepared for not that island. For over here, I think Crown Falls is now ready for a proper tourist season let's play. So guys, hope to see you very soon in tourist season and we are going to get to building some hotels and playing with those sweet, sweet decorations that I'm missing so much right now. Um, playing on the live version without my tourist tab is absolutely killing me, but not much longer. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to check out our community Discord. The link is in the description. And if you really love what I do, be sure to check out the channel membership option. It helps support me and the channel with a, a small donation of about $2 a month. And it goes to help making the channel even better in the future. I will catch you guys later. Have a great rest of your day.